Welcome to Viking Tools for Revit. Uh, in this short example, we're going to look at a new addition that we have to our Viking Tools in, under the sprinkler section. Uh, previously, we released an arm over creation tool, which took care of sprigs and drops, arm overs and return bins. Uh, in addition to that, now we have a new tool called Connect Sprinklers via Tees and Taps. What this does is takes the sprinkler and connects it directly to the piping, directly to a fitting on the on the branch line or main. So it um, ignoring um, arm overs and crosses. In fact, in this case, you'll see we have one sprinkler head that's offset. Uh, what this will actually do is is raise this sprinkler up to the pipe and line it up with the pipe. The pipe is the defining location uh, for the elevation of the sprinkler. So in this case, I have uh, some uprights laid out. I have a couple of pendants laid out just so that you'll be able to see how uh, they come into play here. If you look at this cross section, one of my branch lines is sloping. One of them is flat at nine foot. Also, you'll notice that I laid the sprinklers out. We have some uprights and we have some pendants and they are down basically a foot above the floor. And what I've done is just laid them out as if they were being a floor pattern coverage and we're going to elevate those up to this, this line. So, very simple operation. We'll take, start that tool, connect the T's and taps, select the heads for this line, connect it. Notice that that lined up with the uh, branch line, and we'll do the second line, which is on a slope. Connect those, okay. You can tell these are on a slope immediately because the annotation symbol goes away. Uh, we would have to run the symbol manager program to bring those back. That's just a feature within uh, Revit that doesn't allow annotation symbols to show up if they're on a slope. Um, so we have a tool that takes care of that for you. So if we look at this in 3D, you see that these were elevated from one foot to whatever the pipe elevation was. In the case of a sloping pipe, everything is aligned properly and it's raised vertically so it's not, if this was a nine foot slope, a nine foot uh, center to center laying flat, that would be longer than nine foot center to center on, a, on an angle, uh, but they're brought up to the proper point. And there you have it. Very quick little tool that'll take care of that problem for you. So it doesn't matter if they're flat or sloped, this tool works great. Thanks for watching.